Hi, I'm Chelsea, Vice Chair of Dimension Council. My story is from the prompt, the weekend writing. It's called I. Prompt was excuse. I would always make up the reason for my odd behaviour. It seemed the only way to blend in. The scratchy socks to the loud music. I built it all up. I knew something was wrong with me. I masked my social skills. I always tried to fit in. Guys would ask me on a date. I was never good at picking up signals. I look back at my teen days. The signs were there. I was a girl trying to fit in with the other girls. It was hard trying to stay focused in front of them. Nodding at the right time. I felt drained after. I always felt I didn't fit in the world. It made me sad and angry. The, the feeling of trying to be perfect enough. I would cry at it all about going out of the house. I would cuddle up with the dogs, tell them how I feel and then be licked by them. <laughs> then the diagnosis came autism spectrum disorder I laughed at it <laughs> I couldn't men were always diagnosed with it I never seen girls diagnosed with it it must be a mistake as the days went by it became clearer I was an older woman with autism in her 50s it was not a mistake. I went to the post-diagnosis groups where I connected with them more. Like I found they were like me. I felt a bit of pressure lift with them. I could scratch my sock and they would understand. I could say I was overwhelmed and wanted to go home. Well, as time went by, I met a guy. He was from a support group I went to. We would have a chat and stuff. My family are confused how I managed to keep him. I haven't yet m mentioned the diagnosis with them, as I'm not sure how they will react. They think it's sweet I found someone odd as me. <laughs> the younger ones in my family suspect I'm autistic. I winked at them. <laughs>